home day, everyone. And Adrian is just finishing up her wall mural. Can't wait to see the whole thing done. Now we've got a DIY that even the seasoned pros might be nervous about, and it's cutting glass. Except it can be easy, safe, and fun. That's what Leanne tells us, right? <laughs> Ella, give it up for Leanne. Go with that. Pro, the glass cutter. Now, this is the first time you've tried this. I have never tried cutting glass before, but my social media feeds have been flooded with this trend of cutting wine bottles and making your own drinking glasses, which okay. I thought was strange, but also it was intriguing enough to make me want to buy the contraption. Right. So, and and it's like you're it. using, right? You got the bottles anyways Absolutely. if you're at my house, right? You're... Absolutely. Yeah. So for me, I wasn't interested in making the wine glasses, but what I did see on Pinterest that grabbed my attention mm -hmm. were these adorable self-watering planters so that good. I did a little herb garden with. Yeah. I'm gonna explain the breakdown of how the self-watering works, but it starts with a good old-fashioned wine bottle yep. that you then have to cut. So step one with this project is either to go online and order yourself a case of clear bottles, which yep. you can do empty, or find a lot of friends who like to drink wine. Some of them I had to take the labels off, which can be a little tricky. Yeah. So step one is to do what most people would think of, and that's to soak the bottle. So yes. you're gonna soak it in warm water, and typically it's a paper label, so this will come off quite easily. Mm -hmm. What doesn't come off quite easily is what's underneath the paper, and that is all of the sticky goo. And the this is like, gunk. honestly, the, the bait of my existence is trying to peel sticky labels off of things. Me too. Things from the store, things like wine labels. Yeah. Intro, my new favorite product. Okay. That is quite literally called sticky crud remover. <laughs> They went literal. With they that went one. very literal. You don't even but have to works. guess. Well, and you know how I found this works the best? How? If you give it a spray yeah. on top and then wrap it with a bit of saran wrap, a little bit of cling wrap, oh. leave it on there for about three to five minutes at most, yeah. and then this stuff will peel right off. I use a little plastic scraper, but it lifts oh, it right off, and it totally does the trick, and you don't have to waste all that water at the sink. So you're, ge you're gearing up, which means it's probably time to cut a bottle. <laughs> things are about to get serious. <laughs> yeah. All right, things are getting Ready? serious. What do we need to know about bottle cutting? Well, first and foremost, a quick spin around Amazon yes. by typing in bottle cutter contraption gave yes. me lots of options. Who knew? So I just went for the most affordable one yeah. and that was about under $30 for this little contraption here okay. that has some spinny wheels, this little glass cutter on the end. Looks like roller and, skates. Right? And it's but so like backwards easy. And well, listen, down. if this glass cutting doesn't work, I can do a little DIY <laughs> and turn this into something else. So basically what you're going to want to do, I followed the instructions very carefully. Yeah. You're going to want to put some pressure down and back. So keeping this so there's a little stopper on the end uh -huh. and you're going to spin this only once. Okay. One time around to score the bottle. And I've already done half of this one, so I'm going to show you what it looks like finished. And if the camera can see the little score line. Now this is very easy so and safe that. to so do. So there it is right there. And all you're so all you're looking for is a score. You're not doing score the cut line. cut. This isn't the cuts. Yeah. Just the score line. This is easy to do, but as you can see, I'm wearing gloves that came with the contraption. Oh. We're wearing safety glasses because there are some tiny little glass shards. So I also yes. would suggest doing this on some plastic wrap as well. Okay. Just to collect any of the little glass pieces. You can fold this up, throw it in the garbage, everything's safe. Okay, perfect. So so now you we've scored the bottle. So one thing you want to mention before we even get into this is that it didn't work every single time. Thank you, you for didn't. saying that. This is one of those projects that no matter how careful and slow and precise you are, yeah. you leave some things up to fate. And yeah. I found for every four bottles I did, yeah. one broke. Okay. That's when, fair. And I, when I say broke, one got it, cut. It was properly. a little like jagged. It oh, wasn't I clean see. the edges. Okay. So we are going to invoke the powers of the DIY gods today Let's to go. hopefully be on our Let's side go. that this isn't the one in four. Because I'm going to show you. you how I actually cut. Thank you. I feel yes. it. I feel, do you feel it. it. I'm absorbing it. Yes. yes. Keep it going. So uh, <laughs> what you're going to do next is something that the thought of this and my parents always scared me by saying never put a cold glass in hot water because it will shatter. Right. Yes. If you've heard that. Yes. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay. So I was like terrified, but also really excited. Being a like this will be cool. Yeah. And I was expecting this big explosion. That's not really what happens, but I'm going to show you what happens. Okay. So you're going to want to place the bottle into a nice thick. I've doubled up my my Tupperware here bins. Yeah. I have water. Hopefully this is boiling enough. You want it pretty boiling. Yeah. And I'm going to pour it over the seam. So specifically that seam line, that yeah. score line. It's looking pretty steamy. So this is good. It's looking pretty steamy. So it needs to be scalding hot boiling water. I think they say 
say 270 degrees, but oh, I just well, had it on specific. the highest setting. Okay. Uh, on my like my kettle at home. And you so make sure it's completely covered, or it's, no? It's, well, it's it's the water's kind of going around the seam line here. Okay. So we take it out and immediately into an yeah. ice bath. And let's see what happens if it's. Oh! drop that in because it's still like a mix yeah. between hot and cold and I'm going to take the gloves off because now that we had success yes. it's time to move on to the next part. So I've got uh, another set here uh, after it's been cut in the ice bath just take some sandpaper again the kit came with some sandpaper yeah. and do a little scratching on the surface to smooth out any rough edges Yeah. Uh, really easily worked easily again wearing gloves because I was wondering how are you going to drink from that. Well you'd really have to go in and you really got to so sand it the down. sandpaper that came with the kit I would call this a craft sandpaper if you're doing something like a planter yeah. if this is gonna go up to your mouth you want to go into a much finer grit yeah. water sandpaper to smooth it out a lot we didn't need to go those steps no. for this project yeah, we're not drinking out of so it. the next thing that you need to do to create this self watering planter is create this contraption where the water will come from the bottom yeah. portion up to the top and right. how are you gonna do that by using some cotton rope Okay. Now you could easily go out to your craft mm -hmm. store and buy a roll of cotton rope for about $15 yeah or you can go to the dollar store and buy a mop head for $2 oh, you're so that smart. has all the cotton rope yeah, very and good. pretty much the perfect length that you can cut a piece yeah. and then we're going to knot it and then you're going to go a few aisles over in the dollar store and buy yourself some pantyhose. Right. right, unless you've got some sitting around in your drawer right now. Exactly. So then I never gonna, wear them anymore. What yeah. happened to pantyhose? The pandemic. And so, yeah, is that what it is? I, I guess they're just for DIYs now, not right? even for your legs. I don't have to worry about trying to tuck the seam under my sandals oh, anymore, man. right? right. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Gross. We've come so far. We so, I, as you can see, I've cut just a little piece, and you want black pantyhose because okay. you want this to hide into the dirt of your planter. Got it. I'm then just going to cut a wee little hole in the center like so and this is where our knotted piece of rope is going to feed through and this is basically going to go down the neck of the bottle and this yeah. will stop the dirt from falling down into the water when you fill it and up and once we smart. have that we place that you put your plant in and you get this beautiful little planter that you fill with water on the bottom okay. and the rope wicks the water up that's very so, cool i love this because this is one of those situations you're going on vacation See you later, plants. I know you're well taken care of. You yes. don't need to worry about watering them. They will stay refreshed while you're gone. Very cool. We've got directions and instructions for this DIY up on CityLine.TV. It is brilliant and it worked, it which works. is awesome.